Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüninghaus Lüni and the master taste of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben and today we are having the best whiskies from February 2022. And there are just three as last month. Yes. Um, did we not have that good whiskey in these months or did we just hire our standards? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I've been on vacations. I've been in the Arctic. And so most yeah. of them are from you or were tasted by you. Mm -hmm. So if I if I read what we had during this month, um, yeah, it was just these were the best ones. And I have to start with the first one. I think we had it together, right? No. Seriously? Just me. You? Yeah. You had, uh, there had been, uh, there's a series of special uh, bottlings from Johnny no, Walker. I, had, I, had, I, I was supposed to have it, but then I gave it to you. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was it. That was it. <laughs> and there is a series of bottles and uh, this is a blended whiskey. Yeah, so I did the same thing. Mm. <laughs> There's a, a patent a blocking bowl in it uh, that you can't refill the bottle. Okay. And this bottle gets its reward because it's one of the best blends I had. Really? This is not a best whiskey at all. So don't expect to have a old uh, special single malt whiskey. But this is a so uh, artisanal, very well made, uh, balanced whiskey where the grain part really fits in in an excellent way. So I liked it very, very much, but uh, that's not a too expensive bottle. This is, well, I think quite available. It's 12 years of age. Um, so not these typical no age statement young blends you find on the shelves of the supermarkets. This is a good one. Yeah. yeah. Cherry finish for a blend. But it's a new one, isn't it? It's a new one. Yeah. It's I think they want to get into that sherry market bit where, where the people say I want a sherry mm -hmm. whiskey. And so they uh, have an experimental series with 42% ABV, mm -hmm. uh, which is limited. And this one with a sherry uh, finish should be a constant one with 40% ABV. Okay. But they didn't say if, if it was made by Jim or, or the, who, who did follow him? Uh, who, I think it was a woman, uh, mm. his, his protege, I think it was. I don't know. Yeah. So this but, was the first one. Yeah. So the second one is I had it. It's a, a very interesting one because it's an American whiskey. And it's a, uh, what was it, Chabernier Sauvignon? Cabernet. Cabernet Sauvignon. <laughs> it's an American whiskey, I can say what I want. <laughs> they, they can't pronounce Chaber Cabernet Sauvignon. <laughs> Neither can I. <laughs> uh, but anyway, pronunciation aside, it's a good whiskey. It's something new, something heavy, something with a lot more oomph to it, which you don't expect from the most... Uh, American whiskeys. I think it was a Kentucky straight bourbon, isn't yep. it? Yep. So it's finished, finished in Cabernet yep. Sauvignon. So it's definitely not a typical um, Kentucky straight bourbon. It's far away from what you know or what you expect from a Kentucky straight bourbon. Uh, but it's it's nice. And they get the award for me because uh, it's, it's uh, a new idea. It's very innovative and they've transformed it and made it in a very good way. They've just, I don't know how they did it because usually beforehand, before the maturation, you can't really try it. You only know <laughs> what you've done after you've done it <laughs> and they've done it well. Maybe a bit of luck was also at play, but uh, wow. luck favors the, what was it? The bold or the, the, the ones that work hard. <laughs> and yeah, the, uh, I had the Maker's Mark 46. I think last summer you also had the Maker's Mark 46 when we had that event. Uh, it was quite some time, time ago, but I remember that the Maker's Mark 46 outran all the others from Maker's Mark. Mm -hmm. So this was really excellent. And when we say we have here a very innovative project, project with a, a cask finish, this here has French oak staves in it. So a little bit of a it was same. the stave profile number 46. Yeah. So it does it have 46% ABV? 
I think as well. And no, 47. 47. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, Maker's Mark, excellent product. A lot lighter than the, than the second one and a lot. Um, yeah, it has a good amount of spiciness and, and it's, yeah, it's, feel it's, and it's, touch. Uh, and it's done with wheat. Yeah, it's, it's a lot wheated. of wheat. So it's uh, also a well-rounded product. This is more of a heavy product. Yeah. Uh, but still, Vegas Mark 46 um, is a standard bottling. It's uh, like standard bottling. Is, it's always available. Big company, but very good product. This is uh, a special month. Uh, where is the single malt? Yeah. <laughs> I have been on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there is no single malt this this month. This is a bit of a special time. <laughs> okay, so no single malt this month. This is outrageous. <laughs> okay, yeah, but um, the Americans have done very well and also the blend industry. So yeah, these are our three whiskeys of the month, February 2022. Thank you very much for watching. And see you next time.